What is up YouTube? It's Forrest here. Today I wanted to talk about something called Sweet Sweat. And this is a product that essentially you just rub all over yourself. It's a balm slash ointment slash um, lotion for lack of a better word. I'll let you get a look at it. Less of a lotion and more of a balm or an ointment. Um, it's kind of like Vaseline, the cons consistency of Vaseline. But I wanted to kind of clear the air about it and give you guys a, a real review on it. Um, there's a lot of bad information out there on YouTube regarding this product. And I don't say that lightly. If you actually search uh, Sweet Sweat Review, and I hope that's how you actually got to this video because that means this video is getting somewhere. But the top couple of reviews on this product all have... Um, 300,000 plus views and they're just people that don't know what they're talking about reviewing this product and for example one of one one girl that was reviewing this product um, is clearly the first time she'd ever tried it she opened it up put it on her stomach did like 20 sit-ups and said that uh, she didn't feel like the product was worth buying it because she didn't feel like it was working for her. And on the flip side, there's another review that actually recommended buying this product because she said it would help you focus in and burn fat in localized areas. And that, that could not be further from the truth. That is just not something that is even ro remotely true. In fact, I'll link in the description the study from Yale um, about targeted fat loss and why it's a total myth. Um, not to get too into the details here, but essentially the reason that targeted fat loss in specific areas, and what I mean by targeted fat loss is um, trying to burn fat specifically in your arms or specifically in your um, abdominal area. The reason that doesn't work and is not a thing is because your muscles actually cannot burn fat as fuel. Um, when fat breaks down um, as an energy source, it first has to be broken down and it enters your bloodstream from which it is then converted into um, energy that your body can actually use. So targeted fat loss, and, and that's a gross um, simplification of the so you may be wondering, who's this random guy on YouTube talking about uh, why the other reviews on this product sucks and what gives him the credibility to talk about this product? And essentially what this product actually does is it creates a seal over your skin um, that it's very similar to putting on a, a rubber glove over your hand, essentially. It locks in the heat. Now, it's not as dramatic as putting on a rubber glove or uh, some people you may have heard of putting on trash bags to lock in the heat to sweat more, but it creates this seal over your skin so you can sweat more. I actually wrestled uh, in college at the Division One level for five years, and I am no stranger to cutting weight. And for those of you that aren't familiar with the sport of wrestling or cutting weight, Essentially, uh, you have different weight classes, and let's just say my normal walking around weight is 185 pounds. Well, if I wanted to compete in the 174 pound weight class, that means I would need to lose 11 pounds um, and step on the scale the morning of the competition at 174 pounds in order to compete at that weight class. So in order to lose those 11 pounds, um, as a wrestler, you're training hard, you don't have a ton of body fat to cut. So um, if you're in shape, you might only have two or three pounds more of body fat to really take off your body and get down to be really, really lean. So um, that's going to give you another like eight or nine pounds that you have to lose to get down to that weight class. Well, what the vast majority of wrestlers do is they cut water weight. Um, so you know, there's a few ways your body can can shed water weight. Um, you can urinate. You can uh, you lose some water weight just breathing through your mouth, respirating. Um, but the main way is through sweating. Um, so. Uh, a very common practice when you're cutting weight is to work out in sweats, uh, sweatpants and a sweatshirt, and that's going to obviously keep your body warmer and your body's going to try to cool down, um, and it's going to lead to you sweating more and losing more weight. So another common misconception about this product is that it's going to help you burn fat. And this, let me be very, very, very clear. This is not in any way, shape, or form a fat loss product whatsoever. So yes, it is going to keep you warmer. It is going to make you sweat more. But another common misconception about weight loss is that 
when you sweat more and you're working out in a hotter environment or you're wearing sweats when you're working out, um, the, the misconception is that you burn more calories doing that. And it's a little bit confusing because yes, technically your body has to work harder and burn more calories to sweat and cool down. But if you're talking about a longer workout, um, you're going to actually burn less calories when you're hotter because you're not going to be able to push yourself as further as you could in a cooler environment. So the analogy uh, I always bring up in this instance is um, if you've ever seen dogs playing at the park on a super hot day in the sun, uh, they can play for a little bit, but then they've got a break and go get some water. Um, and then they just, they, you know, pant and try to cool down a lot faster and they tire out a lot faster on a hot day than they do on a nice cool day or even in the cold. They can just play for hours and hours and hours. Um, and they, on those cool days where they're just playing for hours and hours and hours, um, they burn far more calories than they do on the hot day because on the hot day they can only, you know, play for a short amount of time. So it's that same concept. This is not a fat loss or even a weight loss product. Um, technically, yes, it can help you lose weight, but that weight is going to be water weight. It's not going to be fat. So as soon as you finish your workout and rehydrate, which you should be doing anyways. So I actually used Sweet Sweat for years. Um, in college, I actually you know, had some labrum tears in my shoulders. I had sprained ankles from time to time. I had stiffness and, and joint pain in the knees. And by rubbing this on your joints before you work out, you essentially get warmed up uh, a lot faster and it really helps loosen up and warm up those targeted areas. And again, that's not to burn fat, that's just to keep in the heat so that you're able to be more mobile faster earlier in on your workout, whether it's weight training, and in my case it was um, most more often than not wrestling practice. Um, a lot of times with wrestling practice, you spend those first 15, 20 minutes, especially on those days you're really sore, really trying to grit through um, getting warmed up and it's it, it can be pretty painful and, and uncomfortable to really break that sweat in the first 10, 15 minutes of your workout. And this just helps you get there a little bit faster. So if you're somebody that really has to grit through that first, you know, five to 10 minutes at the gym or, you know, whatever um, practice or workout you're in, this can really help you just open up that sweat and get you engaged in your workout faster. Um, it is going to make you sweat more overall, but if you're in a longer uh, duration workout, say, you know, 45 minutes plus and you're just drenched in sweat, um, yes, it's going to make you sweat more, but eventually you probably will, uh, especially if you're a heavy sweater, sweat it all off and the effect will kind of um, stop after a little bit. But overall, it definitely makes you sweat faster and it makes you sweat more. So the third and final thing that Sweet Sweat does, and this is a little bit more abstract, but uh, for people that have trouble getting motivated or holding themselves accountable to actually going to the gym and getting their workout in, Sweet Sweat can act as a really... A powerful psychological trigger or anchor um, in actually getting you to go to the gym. You're gonna feel really weird if you rub this stuff all over your body and then don't go to the gym, right? So if you can just bring yourself to change into your gym clothes and rub this all over yourself, you're not gonna not go to the gym at this point. So once you've gotten the sweet sweat on yourself, you kind of have to go to the gym and it makes it a, a uh, a nice way to stay accountable. It's kind of uh, the same thing as taking pre-workout. So if you if you like to take pre-workout before your workout, uh, you're not really gonna take pre-workout, get all jacked up and energized, and then not go work out. Um, so this can really come in handy there. So um, one thing you may have noticed, depending on how much you've been paying attention to the video, but you can see this uh, is glistening and in a this it's actually pretty cool room temperature in here i want to say 70 degrees um, and this stuff is melting and coming through so if you do buy sweet sweat which uh, i think it's a great product but if you do buy it i would shy away from the uh, applicator stick so this this one kind of opens up from the top and uh, it's got a screw bottom much like deodorant and you kind of apply it directly I would shy away from that one, especially if you're going to be throwing this in your gym bag or putting it in your car. If you were to put this in your car and it, the car were to get warm, uh, it would totally melt. 
that and my hands from holding this one are so uh, kind of greasy that I'm having trouble even opening the jar there we go and this is actually a brand new jar I just opened it but uh, it's the same thing you just scoop it out with your hands um, Please do like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video or found it informational or helpful. It helps this uh, channel grow, and I appreciate it, and see you next time.